Good morning, everyone. Today is the day after Passover, and it seems that Passover is behind us. But actually, Passover is ahead of us. Why? Because there's only one holiday on the Jewish calendar that there's a second celebration of the same holiday, and that is Passover. The Torah tells us that one month after the first holiday of Passover, there should be a Pesach Sheni, a second Passover. For those Jews who didn't have the opportunity to observe the first Passover, God gave them a redo Passover holiday. And the question is, there is no second Rosh Hashanah, no second Yom Kippur. There's no second Hanukkah Purim or Shavuos. Why is it that from all the holidays, there's only a second Passover? And perhaps it's because this holiday, which is the first of the Jewish holidays on the biblical calendar, is the most fundamental and essential holiday of all. Because it teaches us the basic tenet of Judaism, that every Jew is in the image of God, every human being is in the image of God. And therefore, just like God is free, not constrained or restricted, every human being should live freely. No human being should live within any form of confinement, subjugation, oppression, or imprisonment. And therefore, the first lesson of the Jewish calendar is freedom. That we should live with courage, without fear, without doubt, with certainty, with confidence, with trust, with faith, and with true inner spiritual freedom. And therefore, the message of the Pesach Sheni is that if you missed it the first time, you have to do it the second time. And you have to keep on doing it till you learn this lesson. Because if there's one holiday that we have to live with every day of the year, not just for the days of the original holiday of Passover, it's the holiday of Passover, of Pesach, which teaches us that God wants us to all be free human beings. It's a story told by Rabbi Israel may allow that when the Russian immigrants were coming over to Israel in the 90s, some of them were not Jewish, and therefore they had to come and prove their Jewish identity and lineage. And they would have to bring witnesses to ascertain that their families were Jewish. And this one woman came from Russia, and she came to the Bet Din with Rabbi Lau to say that she's Jewish. And to prove it, she brought a fellow Jew from Russia who immigrated with them, who was a rabbi, who said, I know this family, and I knew her mother, and they're Jewish. And then this rabbi told Rabbi Lau, not only was the mother Jewish, but she was an observant woman. And she worked in the same hospital that I worked in. And she was a smoker, and every day she would smoke a pack of cigarettes. But her last cigarette in her cigarette box, she would take out and put aside. And she would put it away in a special box. And every day she would put away the last cigarette she had. And at the end of the year, she would come to me with the box of 365 cigarettes that she collected each and every day. And she would say to me, could you please sell these cigarettes for me and buy wheat and make matzah for me for Passover? And when Rabbi Lau heard the story about this woman behind the Iron Curtain who put away a cigarette a day to buy wheat to make matzah with the flour, he said to this woman, I want you to know that the difference between your mother and myself is that I celebrated, I celebrate Passover once a year. Your mother celebrated Passover 365 days of the year. Passover is a holiday that we never leave behind in the rearview mirror. We take the lesson, the message of freedom with us each and every day, that whatever it is in life that is confining, constraining, constricting us and limiting us from accessing our full potential must be unbound, released, and so we could emerge triumphant and truly free in body, mind, and spirit. Have a wonderful day.